welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to create a simple 3d modeling in SOLIDWORKS this is a simple ki a kind of crankshaft and we are going to create with the help of some basic feature commands I hope you like it this is just for the beginners so let's start to create this one now let's go to file new and choose your part okay let me change background plain white whatever you like to keep going to practice a simple crankshaft model so let's start to create I don't have to do drawing for this one but we will try to create so I'll start with front plane sketch now let me start with center line choose this line in one line and let me start with okay now here uh, we will start with line go back this line and it will automatically convert into circle then again go back to here and again you will find it will automatically convert into circle exit now what we will do we will just try to mirror so choose mirror entity select these lines mirror about this line okay now let me select here three point arc connect this point to this point and try to create half circle that's near to half circle and the same way we will do it for this we will try to create just choose this point tangent that seems better now let's define 75 millimeter this outer radius now this length 150 millimeter this inside radius 45 millimeter 50 millimeter this radius and the outer one 180 millimeter that's fine and the distance from here to here this distance 75 millimeter that's it now what else balance here okay we have to create some relations here like these two points we will make vertical now see it comes in one line this is an important thing now let me choose dimension I'll select this upper dimension and hold shift key and the lower one by default we need 450 millimeter this this is what we like to make now this point and this point it should be in one line uh, it's already in one line so you can directly connect with this now here we miss something see the center point we miss choose the line and the center point and make relation coincide now see our geometry is fully defined see even no need this dimension also so let me extrude and here we will extrude up to 50 millimeter that's fine and uh, we will define the raw material metal brushed steel that's fine now let me choose this face sketch normal and here we want to make a cut a tapered cut so I'll choose up to here this con end point and this point let me define this geometry 125 millimeter and this upper horizontal distance keep 30 millimeter let me keep here now you can exit and go to feature and choose here extruded cut we want to cut it either you can drag up to outside or here you can define or let me choose through all so no need to define any dimension simply click ok that's it now let's move other direction 
now let me choose this face a sketch normal choose circle and draw here a circle and let's keep the diameter 140 mm okay now how we will align choose this circle and this outer circle hold shift key and make relation co-centric let's see drawing is fully defined even you can select extruded boss base and this time let me extrude up to 100 millimeter see this is the upper stem okay that's fine now here we want to make oblong body so let me choose this face sketch normal and here I'll try this center point straight slot let me choose the center point of this circle oh I think no we need to choose here a straight slot actually center point here okay now let's define here the length is exactly 150 millimeter but diameter diameter exactly the first dimension like 75 millimeter radius see go to feature and select extruded boss base and let's keep thickness 50 millimeter see keep end condition blind and this direction also perfect okay now the next step come next for next step uh, uh, okay choose this face sketch normal and here we will make some cutout so it looks be far better up to here to this corner and the same way we will cut from here to this end corner let's define 30 millimeter and this one 125 millimeter in the same way we will define the bottom one 30 millimeter 125 millimeter see okay now let's extrude cut the simple way go to extruded cut throughout look it gives a little better shape now this time comes for this face a sketch normal and let me draw here one more circle and this diameter comes 40 millimeter 140 millimeter and I'll choose this circle hold shift key this circle and we will make here co-centric relation co-centric co-centric the same and extrude and this time we will extrude up to 100 millimeter see okay now again we will make here oblong so I'll choose this face sketch normal now let me choose here a straight slot and uh, let me start with center point for this circle up downward direction and choose smart dimension and length as it is 150 and the radius 75 millimeter now look extruded boss base we want to extrude the same thing 50 millimeter okay now I'll choose this face sketch circle you will find the center point of this if you keep your cursor near edge 140 millimeter and this one also we need to extrude hundred and oh sorry hundred millimeter okay now it's time it's time to uh, fix here this flange 
but in reverse position so how we will do this one let me choose this face a sketch and here you will see sketch one so select sketch one see here click convert entity now see it is copied here on this face see but we want to make it reverse so how we will do this one first we will define fix lock this ge geometry with the help of this construction lines so that it will not move anymore now select here center point and I'll put center point here and just make sure dimension from here to hold shift 225 by default this center point is important because we are going to rotate this one okay so let's tilt little and now choose here one option rotate entities now here we will select all geometry see center point of rotation so I'll select this star point because we selected here we put here see it's going to now here angle shown 180 millimeter click now see you will see the re preview here how it looks okay now still geometry is not fully defined so what you will do just simply go to fully defined sketch calculate now it's fully defined okay because this is similar as the our previous one so no need to define anything else extruded boss base now this time this flange thickness is 50 millimeter okay that's fine now let's try to cut some faces A sketch normal now this time we will cut in three direction first here one and let me choose from this point to and here from inside so a smart dimension and all are the same dimensions so let me keep 125 milli by 25 millimeter uh, 30 millimeter now the last one now that's it select extruded cut now you can directly choose here through all okay now that's it tapered we created we are not going to create any kind of oiling hole here it take it takes time but okay now let's go ahead let me choose this face a sketch normal now circle and let me click here a circle and define this diameter 140 millimeter make one relation this, oh, this relation horizontal and dimension so center this one and hold shift key and upper dimension upper edge dimension if you hold shift then only it will comes here 220 5 millimeter okay extruded boss base now this one we need to extrude only up to 50 millimeter because we are going to uh, make more this one uh, we are going to mirror the whole body so let's keep the same thing here okay now that's now the same thing I'll do it here in front face or starting face oh we are going to make in wrong direction and let me choose even you can select the previous sketch see you can go it here select 
and click convert entry so no need to define the dimension even if you define the dimension select this one and this face 125 by 225 by default that's extruded boss base and uh, 50 millimeter okay select this face a sketch circle and uh, you can click here smart dimension 100 millimeter and extrude and this face we like to extrude up to 150 millimeter okay now see we created half of the crankshaft now it's time to mirror this one so first I'll change the color for this so I'll select the whole body dark color okay now let me choose mirror now here I'll choose here first plane or body which is going to face this face we selected and body select whole body now you will see a preview here keep merge solid so that it will create one body okay now that's it see this is how we created now you can simply save as it is crankshaft so this is we created a simple 3d modeling in solidworks with the help of some basic fe sketch and feature commands i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks Thanks for watching.